Well, hey everyone, thanks for watching the Trained by Tradewinds show. I'm Coach Andy. I'm Coach Meredith. And today we're going to talk about a topic that a bunch of our current clients have actually brought up. And so if they're bringing it up, I'm sure that, you know, prospective clients or people that are, are new to working out are thinking about as well. And that's going to be working out in a mask. We're going to talk about our personal experiences about working out in a mask, what we found works for us, as well as talking to our other clients, what's worked for them, uh, and give you any tips and tricks that we have. So let's do this. Let's get into it. All right, so being in Massachusetts right now in gyms, there is a mandatory mask mandate, which basically means that in order to work out in a gym in Massachusetts and actually in other parts of the country as well, you are required to wear a mask at all times. Now, if you're doing high intensity work, like we do here at Trade Winds, right? We do high intensity strength training. If you're ever accustomed to those workouts or if you've ever done those workouts before, you know breathing isn't always the easiest thing. <laughs> And so when your heart's beating and everything's racing and you can barely catch your breath, the thought of having to wear a mask while doing that can seem really, really, what's the word I want to use? Terrifying. Scary? Yeah. <laughs> Terrifying. Like that might be, might be the word I want to use, right? Cause you're sitting there literally thinking like I can barely breathe during a regular workout, never mind having something cover my face. And it's completely understandable. I mean, you know, when we, when we first had to implement it, um, I remember thinking to myself, man, I don't know how this is going to go. Yeah. Like, I, there are definitely some workouts, like our sprint style workouts, where I am huffing and I am puffing and I'm trying to get as much oxygen as humanly possible. And, um, and they're just never enough, right? Like, yeah. even with the doors open and, and the fans going, like, just, there never seems to be enough yeah. oxygen in the room. And so I remember thinking, Man, I gotta do this with a mask on now. Like that thing's gonna be suffocating me. Um, here's the thing. For those of you that like, and I don't know if you remember this, but I've talked to you about this a little bit before. Back, I want to say probably like two years ago, maybe. There was this thing that came out in the fitness world, and it like everybody was doing it, right? And so it was this thing that this company came out and they said, "We're gonna we're gonna produce this thing called an elevation mask." Yeah. Yeah, right? And literally, so the whole concept of this thing, bear with me for a second, I, I promise this makes sense. The whole concept was, well, if you train at high altitude hmm. in low oxygen environments, it forces your body to adapt and utilize oxygen in a more efficient way. Mm -hmm. Science proves this, by the way, it actually does work. Yeah. Trust me, it does. Uh, but instead of like going to the Himalayas or to Colorado to train and work out to better utilize oxygen, mm -hmm. this company came out and said, well, Basically wearing a mask is like working out at high altitude. Wow. So we're going to produce these masks. Yeah. Um, and the, the logo had like a mountain on it. Yeah. I literally visualized yeah, it. it. There's like yeah. a black mask with a white logo. And they were like, we're going to produce these masks and people are going to wear them while they work out. And it's going to simulate high altitude training. Mm. <laughs> they predicted the future. So, right, <laughs> right. So they kind of predicted the future, but here's the thing at the end of the day, uh, studies were done and it showed that it, it did not simulate high altitude <laughs> training at all. It just sucked. <laughs> um, and essentially, it, all it did was create more resistance mm -hmm. uh, when, you were, when you were training, yeah. which, come to find out, actually didn't have an effect on training or outcome or results at all, mm -hmm. which was really interesting. So, working on a mask actually isn't new. Like this, this is actually something that, that started like two years ago as like a fad. Yeah. Right. Kind of like, you remember shake weight? Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Same yeah. idea, right? Like <laughs> best of intentions. Didn't really work. Didn't really work. <laughs> so come to find out, and actually studies have been done now, uh, for those of you guys that are curious, training in a mask actually does not hinder athletic performance at all. So like 
I mean, I'll talk about my experience. It was definitely a psychological thing. Yeah. Right? Like the first couple workouts, and I remember the literally the first workout that we did was on my birthday oh, yeah. wearing a mask. <laughs> and like the workout was a sprint style workout. Actually, no, that was a threshold style workout. But it was like high intensity, it was squat snatching and it was muscle ups, things that like we don't typically do. It was just because it was my birthday and yeah. it would be my favorite movements. Yeah. But I was like, this is gonna be terrible. <laughs> I was like, what am I gonna do? But I, I did the workout, I got through it, and honestly, like other than like just having something on my face, mm-hmm. and once I got over that, I didn't even notice it. Yeah. Like I was so busy in the workout, I was so deep in remembering what rep I was on or what I had to do next that like it honestly didn't really bother me Hmm. and so I mean I now work out you know six days a week Uh, I wear a mask every single time I work out so it's been if it was my birthday it's it's been over a month now literally so five weeks six literally 30 some odd workouts if not more of working out in a mask and honestly I I barely even notice it now Hmm. Um, and like I don't have like the best mask in the world to work out in. I have a bunch that we bought, uh, Mm -hmm. you know, for for people here and I work out in those. And yeah, sometimes like I can feel it suck in and it definitely collects sweat, but to be honest, I have to wash them because they get pretty gross. Uh, But other than that, like it really doesn't bother me. So how have you felt like working out in the mask? Um, It's been psychological for sure. I think it adds that sense of, I mean, you're already, having that like anxiety about like huffing and puffing and it's just like go 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 and you can't breathe and having that extra thing there like maybe sucking it in you're like whoa what just happened and kind of takes your breath away um and you can't really control what's happening um there's like the psychological of that um and i mean i it i think it does bother me it bothers me just because like i'll one the sweat but also some, somehow I drool more and it like <laughs> collects and it just like is gross. That is um, pretty gross. And it like, <laughs> so I, I, I like am more conscious of it there. Mm-hmm. Um, and I definitely have like tips of how I've maneuvered my mask because my mask is adjustable. Okay. Um, so like what are, what are some of the things that you've done to work with your adjustable mask to make it a little bit easier? So I would tighten it around my so it's like that little loop thing so one of the strings holds the top part one of them holds the bottom part so i actually have it tighter on top and looser on the bottom because i have this feeling of okay i can open my jaw a little bit better um so i'm getting a little more air it's probably not true but (laughs) mentally i think i'm getting more air we we would have established that it's psychological so if that works for you then yeah it helps my mind um, so having that, it allows me to have a little more free space of my yep. mouth. Um, and it also doesn't continue to ride down. Like, especially if you're doing jump ropes or burpees, it just constantly like slides down and then you have a mask like right here and you're like, well, that defeats the purpose of COVID. <laughs> right. and, and then you're like putting it back and then always like messing around. So having it tighter up top on the nose part and then looser on the bottom helps me a little bit um, to have a little more control over what's happening. Um, And then whenever I need to like take a drink, like I have a little more space. Um, But yeah, that's what I do. So yeah, I don't really have any like tricks as far as like my mask is concerned. So I have basically, it's like a, um, it's real, I can't, I can't think of the the, the name for the material, but it's like a nylon almost. like like, a headband. Like a, yeah, like a silky kind of like stretchy yeah. material and it's got adjustable loops. That's about it. So mm-hmm. I, I too have found that, yeah, I guess same thing. I keep the top right a little bit tighter than the bottom. Mm-hmm. Um, I also think it's cause like I have the facial hair. Yeah. <laughs> so like it like catches on that and then it pulls. But, um, the only thing that I have found that it actually does not like affect me, but that I notice it on is actually doing jump rope. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if it's because of where I look when I do jump rope, because I, I look slightly in front of me, yeah. but I can see it yeah. like in my peripheral vision, which I never expected yeah. to happen. I thought it might like affect me more in box jumps, like trying to like yeah. see and look, but I actually don't. Do yeah. you notice it in box jumps? Um, I don't notice in box jumps. I like I look directly at the box, yeah. so I don't usually use my peripheral. Um, 
<clears throat> I notice it when I'm like moving around to get my objects. Like okay. I've tripped over a kettlebell before because <laughs> I couldn't see it. Are you it. sure it's not just because you're clumsy? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll, we'll try it without an accident yeah. if I fall over. But yeah, it's just like kind of like walking around. I mm -hmm. notice it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I normally try to like look before I jump. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is that a good workout tip, yeah. that's a good life that's lesson. A good life. It's a good life lesson. Look before you jump. Yeah. Don't 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 let that stop you from jumping. <laughs> just make sure you look just before you look jump. At it. Just look. Um, so one of the questions that I know we get all the time, and a, a ton of people have asked me, is what is the best mass for working out, right? Uh, and I think we we've talked about this. We both agree. Unfortunately, I don't. We don't have a good answer for you. <laughs> um, much like shoes. When you work out, much like shorts or yoga pants, everyone has their own preferred style. Yeah. Uh, what works for me may not work for Meredith, may not work for you, may not work for somebody else. It may or it may not. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, the mask that I have works for me. It doesn't bother me, but I, I know for 100% certainty that if Coach Mary were to wear that mask, it would absolutely bother her. Mm -hmm. um, so it's literally all personal preference. Uh, with that said, there are a couple of things that we know uh, do work a little bit better uh, and some things that definitely do not work better. So mm -hmm. I know because we've had a couple of clients uh, use them before, those like face like cages. Mm -hmm. So it's like this plastic thing that goes over your face and the mask goes over that, right? Yeah. The, the goal here yeah. is to separate space between the mask and your face, you have room to breathe. Mm -hmm. They don't work, not for working out anyway. Yeah. What happens is that, because they're not like, like secured in place, they move around. Yeah. And like AJ was doing a workout when we first had to wear masks and he was wearing one of those things. And he's like, we were doing like jump rope or something. He's like, it ended up in my shirt. Like <laughs> it's not, it was not, it didn't stay on me yeah. at all. Yeah. Uh, so when you go to work out with a mask, like those little cage things that you see on Amazon for like five bucks for like a three pack, don't, do don't they don't work. Um, we've heard good things about N95, like just the standard N95 because They've got that kind of duck bill look yeah. to them. Yeah. It does uh, keep a little bit more distance. Um, and then the Adidas work pretty well uh, and the Under Armour mm -hmm. work pretty well. And I think again, because they have a very similar shape, they have that V yeah. shape where they almost come to like a point in the front mm -hmm. and that gives you enough space yeah. in between. Have you heard anything else other than just those three? Uh, I use the Old Navy ones. Okay. So it's like a one size fits all. That's why it's adjustable. Yep. Um, I really like it um, because it's a it's a lighter cloth material okay. and it's very formed. It actually like looks like it has layers. Um, and it, it's a nice form. It doesn't fall flat on my face. Nice. So I like it. Awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so as with anything, same advice we give when anybody asks for like, what shoes should you wear or what jump rope should you use? Um, try them out, right? Uh, grab one, grab a couple, try them out, uh, do a couple workouts with them. See which one you like better. Uh, see which one fits your personal, your personal preference. But you know, we're here to tell you based on our results, based on, scientific studies that we've read, uh, wearing a mask while working out does not hinder your athletic performance. It is mostly psychological, more so than anything else. And unfortunately, there's just not a one best mask for everybody. Uh, so try them out, figure out which one works best for you. If you guys have any questions about working out in a mask or different tips or tricks um, that have worked for us on how to get over the psychological side of it, uh, feel free to reach out, let us know, comment below or whatever. Uh, we're here to help in any way we can. Uh, other than that, you have anything else? No. Nope. All right, I think that's it for today's episode. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you next week. See ya.